Welcome back, folks, and we were just uh, looking at uh, shots of Lock On, the biggest release uh, by Irfan Alves and uh, directed by Stephen Taylor. Welcome. We have a lot in store for you in terms of understanding what's happening in our arts, culture, and entertainment space. And this man, this man, Irfan Alves, one of the baddest, the baddest <laughs> artists. Yes, the, 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 the most progressive thinker in the artist space, Irfan Alves. Thank you. Pleasure and thank you very much for that wonderful intro. Thanks for coming. Steven Taylor, director extraordinaire. I will take that, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well deserved. Well deserved. Um, tell me about Lock On. Yeah, so Lock On is my first release off of the No Seasons project. So before I even talk about Lock On, I want to touch on the project. This is my fourth year in. Mm -hmm. And basically, the No Seasons project is geared towards soca releases and the continuation of soca releases after Carnival. Yeah. You know, I believe as a young entertainer, this is my humble contribution. This is my humble stance, my humble way forward in terms of creating positive change. Yes. And a way to create longevity within the local market. Because yes. for us to really compete against the likes of hip hop, reggae, you know, um, Latin American music, the Afrobeat, they are consistent and the, the, the speed of their releases is, is, is throughout the year. Right. So I believe for us to really reach to that level, even before we think about competing against them, we should fix things at home first within our nice little Trinidad and Tobago and create a constant which would be Soka artists releasing songs right after Carnival straight through the year instead of waiting till uh, September into January, February the following. Right, so instead of adopting that so-called the, 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 the seasonality of Carnival, you should be a little more consistent throughout the year. Yes. The only problem with that business model as opposed to this current business model where the artists release all the music from September to January then after carnival now they, they tour the world the, the caribbean with the music that they've released occasionally and i've seen this occasionally um after carnival you do see one or two releases but what you're talking about is a fundamental shift in how we think about creating our music and marketing our music to create a new norm yeah whereas next five years i don't want to be saying no seasons next five years it should be a regular thing whereas after carnival the fans the promoters the soca enthusiasts they're looking forward to see what if and Alves is coming with next what second star pretty nyla and voice coming with next because i believe like the, the names i just called we are the younger artists so we are the new generation mm -hmm. the generations that come when the bungees and the marshall and industria are already done they pave a nice way for us already yes. so it's for us to find unique ways and means to really uplift what's already there right the only challenge for the for the for the artists i suppose in that new business model Model mm -hmm. is that the earnings from their post carnival events, mm -hmm. all of the tours that they do, all of the events that they do, all of the various carnivals that they attend, finding the time to be in the studio mm -hmm. for, your, for, your, for your newest release mm -hmm. is, is well, going to be. Well, I mean, I'm here. I tour in just as much, but I'm here and I believe that's an excuse in a sense because just like you mentioned, a lot of artists actually see that to, to interviewers and other entertainment people involved in the media but I yeah. believe like I have been finding the time so I believe everybody else could be finding the time I found myself writing mm -hmm. songs on planes in hotel rooms and that mm -hmm. kind of thing and I'm like I see myself as a young cultural soldier and I will find ways and means to really make a positive change yeah yeah we do have time definitely in between shows and between flying we do um, we're not busier than hip-hop artists I hear you and they find the time yeah so we as Socrates should find no excuse yeah um, towards touring or, or traveling or anything like that it's a new business model and I like what you're saying about Thank it no seasons fantastic yeah. 
Yeah. Even in terms of how we're representing ourselves, yeah. how we are interpreting our music and representing ourselves to the world, has that changed over the past 30 years? Definitely. I think um, we've always been, we've always put out quality productions. But where I come in growing up, I've always, you know, been at the, for the front row of, of what we do. You know, the Peregrinades, the, the Dimash Gras, all these things I've always looked at. But I just felt we lacked in the packaging. Right. So I think where I sort of lend to Irfan's vision is putting that in a nice gift box, yeah. putting a bow on it, yeah. and putting EA. Yeah, but the packaging is so important. I mean, you would Definitely. recognize in, in the world of marketing and distribution that, that packaging, packaging is critical. In fact, in some, in some instances, the package is 90% of the product. The product is only 10% in terms of the substance of what you're consuming. It's so true. I mean, it, it goes for food, it goes for clothes, everything. Yeah. If you look at, you look at um, the display and it looks nice, yeah. you might be inclined to order. Correct. But it's the same thing with the visuals and with the music videos that we do now. Yes, we listen to them a lot, but most times you know, uh, the generation, they're looking at the iPhones, the smartphones, there are screens everywhere, even in this studio. Mm -hmm. That's another element to get people involved. And we just wanted to put that package that spoke to a, a, a sort of international audience, so yeah. there was no distraction. You know, yeah. sometimes we look at productions done here and we say, wow, that look like a local. Or, they do that on here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> we wanted to get rid of that sort of comment and we, get people directly into receiving what we are shocked when we see high quality local yeah. productions well, like, should I hear? Yeah, 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 yeah. Where that is. What camera are you use? Where, <laughs> where that is. Yeah, correct, correct. <laughs> but when you now as you as a director, mm -hmm. an interpreter of an artist's music, um, you listen to Earth and Al's music. Do you still call Earth and Al's um, collection? His portfolio is it just so? Is that still Soka? In uh, his work, yes. Or, or is it Soka evolved? I think it's Soka and Soka developed. Just like you don't say hip hop HD or, or, or Soul <laughs> HQ or you know what I mean or um, gospel 5G. Yeah. It's, it's still Soka, but this is his contribution to Soka music. And I, what I really want to say about Ufa now is he's an uh, the penultimate collaborator right so even you know before getting involved with doing the music video i had to look at all his videos right and see where his development is and what his style is and what his brand is yes um what's amazing is when he called me he did have an elaborate hollywood kind of concept <laughs> i want people shooting here and we have to be in chakramas i have a fellow with a boat i want to jump here how much scenes we can do i was thinking a week i say okay Ufan, um let's start right here uh but what was good about it is he was uh 100 a collaborator is a equally a creative right and the music was sort of the screenplay that we use to put images towards good the vision mm. he came with his vision yes he had an, an idea good now i know that this stuff is not cheap to do at all at yeah. all no you see i, I didn't get a jacket I from here. <laughs> sacrifices <laughs> Sacrifice, sacrifices. <laughs> so, <laughs> I am, I am now to make money from the music video itself. Mm -hmm. What I understand about the, the, the industry's business model in today's era is that the music video will help you to sell the music, but on an online basis. The music video helps to build the brand of the artist for live performances mm -hmm. and so on. So. In terms of the return on investment in, 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 in relation to how you recapture that cost in some way, is it ever possible to say that, look, we did this video, we've, we've had 100,000 views, and that represents our return on investment? That's an amazing, amazing question because people always ask that. And what I say to them is, the music video is a product. You now have to market that product. Right. You can't produce a music video and then expect people to just come see it. Right. You have to now design the engine behind that, just like any other movie or any other product, and put it on billboards. Use IG, use social media, use t-shirt branding, use guerrilla branding and organic other ways. Mm -hmm. That's how you bring people to look at the music video. I mean, us being on the morning show right now, Lockdown is on YouTube. Yeah. Check it out. Good. That's how you push it. Now, the music video is just a trailer to what Irfan really wants to offer, right. which is an international image, a global package. Right. The music video makes sense when people see it, they love it, 
and they want to come to his concert. Correct. People see it, they love it, they want to buy a t-shirt. People see it, they love it. Sponsors love it now because we have a million views and they want to be associated with that kind of success. Good. So you can't put all your eggs on the music video. It's just a tease. Right. It's three minutes and some seconds. It's right. a tease. Once you design the back end and the marketing ploy and the strategy to bring people towards this tease, that's how you get people to now spend money and really recognize the brand as something worth some sort of quality. Fantastic. Ufin, in terms of your itinerary, what's your next live performance? Well, my next live performance would be in Barbados and then we are to Grenada because right now, you know, the Caribbean country, their carnivals are booming. Right, so you, Barbados is a crop over season? Yeah. Okay. And you know, Grenada coming up. But right now, as I'm here, I'm fully focused on this, you know, and a lot of people ask what's next and what next. So, me, every time it's Tuesday, I look at my schedule and I see, all right, we'll be going here. This uh, last week, we in Atlanta. The Tuesday, all right, we're going here. Check my schedule, make sure everything has been done for the week, and then I fly and come back because I'm really heavily, I mean, I'm not like saying don't play in the, the, the trips and the and the tour and that kind of thing but i believe like this mission is so important to me i'm passionate about it and i'm finally starting to experience the traction that i really need from you all and i just want to say thank you very much to the local media radio stations print online television stations you all have been opening your arms for me and even steven to really come and air our thoughts and views Good. i am here to uplift the musical side of things he's definitely here to uplift the visual side of things as, as he said it's a total package and all these spin-offs by just doing one quote unquote proper music video can have all these positive benefits yeah. afterwards so yeah. i keep trying to explain to politicians this is the new oil the yeah new, the new gas i mean to arts me, culture entertainment i keep trying but definitely. anyhow someday that's our, oh, that's our someday someday <laughs> some anyhow we will talk about that later. But, but to me, this Lock is on! Earth and Owls, no seasons. Earth and no seasons. Ah, <laughs> I'm going to change my name the, on the show. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yes. Don't no forget season. to credit him. Uh, that, right. yeah, that is the thing. Yeah, but I get, yeah, I'll take a word for it. Uh, Stephen, thank you so much for being here. And thank you so much. Congratulations on your good work, the music video, and everything, and uh, keep it keep it pushing. Thank you. I just All right, folks. Thank you to the entire crew because mm. this production could not have, have happened with Reem, producer, my ranking productions, Dominic, Ku, everybody on the yeah. entire team. We want to make sure and just remind people it is a collaborative effort. Fantastic. And we're just fronting it for the, the crew. Congratulations, gentlemen. Thank you, folks. We have one more item to deal with. Bye. Don't go anywhere. What do you think, officer? <laughs> do that for me, mama. Do that for me, mama. Let me see.